everyone. It's a wonderful science day. I'm Sir Sam, your teacher for today. Are you ready to explore, discover, and learn something new? Oh, that's amazing! Let's get started! Today, you will learn about matter. What is matter? If you look around, you will see examples of matter. Yes, everything you see that has mass and volume is matter. Some examples of matter are naturally occurring like the sun, water, and air. Sand is an example of matter. Matter is made up of a small particles known as molecules. And molecules are made up of atom. Atom is the smallest unit of matter. Matter may be classified according to their physical state, which are solid, liquid, and gas. Each physical state has properties. The arrangement and movement of molecules differ in solid, liquid, and gas. The movement of molecules in three states of matter gives its distinct property. The characteristic of solid and gas are due to the arrangement and behavior of their molecules. Let's talk about solid. A rock is an example of a solid. Solid is composed of tightly packed particles. It means that the molecules in solid are packed closely together. Molecules vibrate around a fixed axis. The force that holds the molecules of solid is very strong. That's the reason why it has a definite shape. For example, a book. A book is a solid with a rectangular shape. Solid has a definite volume. Here are some objects. Can you identify which of these are solid? Books. What else? Chair. Spoon. Let's describe liquid. Water is a liquid. Liquid is made up of loosely packed particles and have spaces in between. Molecules are free to move over each other but are still attracted to each other. That's the reason why liquid has the ability to flow. Liquid has no definite shape and takes the shape of its container, but it has a definite volume. Liquid can change into solid and gas. Here are some objects. Can you identify which of these are liquid? Rubbing alcohol. What else? Gasoline. And the last one, vinegar. Gas. Smoke is an example of gas. Particles of gases move in random motion with little or no attraction to each other. Because molecules of gases are far from each other, they constantly move in all directions. That's the reason why gas has no definite shape. It takes the shape of its containers, like in the balloon. Gas has no definite volume. It can spread or has the ability to diffuse. It is highly compressible or it has the ability to be compressed. Can you identify which of these objects are gas? Oxygen. What else? Clouds. You have learned about matter. There are three states of matter. Solid, liquid, and gas. Each state of matter 
has distinct properties and characteristics. That's all for today. I hope you've learned something new. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye!